Kia, when did you uh, learn you were starting and how did you feel about it? Uh, it was something similar to what happened last year. So I just had to go out there and be comfortable and get my game. Yeah. Uh, what was the to either of the players, just what was the difference? I mean, you're up five going into the third quarter. What was the difference there early in the third quarter? Um, they came out ready to attack, and um, they kind of put us on their heels, and they went on a run, and um, they just kept on going with the run, and uh, it just went down from there. Anything else for student athletes? Greg. Ty, when you compare this to the last time you played Tennessee and threw up a lot of points, what was, what was the difference in um, probably, they probably locked in more, and they uh, denied me the ball a lot, and uh, that's probably it, and I didn't look for my shot that much either, and um, my other teammates, they took care of the ball, and they uh, got their shots up, so that was good, that was good, that came out of it. Okay. Both players got the SEC tournament coming up, what do you want to get squared away now this next week, heading into the NCAAs? Um, probably just getting healthy and getting um, back to normal and um, not, not being so tired and just being focused and getting locked in again. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Questions for Coach Taylor? Here in the front. Yeah, Don, um, how long do you think Asia could be active? Do you know if she might miss the SEC tournament or do you expect her back by then? Um, I'll be on bending knee, hoping that she'll be back uh, uh, Friday. I don't know, but we're, I think the first and foremost is is her health and, and making sure that she's healthy. Um, we're we're going to just take it day by day, um, obviously, because uh, you know, vertigo isn't anything to play around with. Great. When did it first present itself, and how long has it been she kind of Um, I think she had some symptoms on uh, Friday. We really didn't know what it was um, until it was confirmed on uh, on Saturday. Is this, is this something she's dealt with in the past before, or is this was Friday the first that it ever cropped up? Um, it's probably something she's dealt with uh, not during the season. This is the first during the season that we, you know, we had to deal with it. Anything else for Coach Dan? Mm -hmm. In front again. Just with or without Asia, I mean, what are you looking to see from your team next week in the SEC tournament now? Just what do uh, y'all need to get squared away before the season wins? I just want us to compete. I thought we competed. We just didn't execute. We had too many uh, live ball turnovers. And if we could, you know, if we could set our defense up, I thought we, you know, we're pretty good. It's just the live ball turnovers that create easy, easy baskets for us. And then just taking care of the, the rebounding. We didn't do a great job of doing that at that in the second half. Right. Going off that, would you say that was the biggest issue in the third quarter when they kind of Yeah, a lot of ball turnovers and, and rebounding. You know, they just they just out hustled us. And you know, when we're under man like that, we have to win the hustle play. We have to box out. It doesn't matter if uh, we score a whole lot of points, we just can't allow them to you know, I have multiple opportunities at the basket. Coach, this league, you guys are 12 and 4 to 2 seed. Tennessee's 11 and 5 and a 7 seed. Does that just speak to the depth of the SEC? And then looking at the brackets, Tennessee's going to play Auburn. And then would, if Tennessee were to win, would face, I mean, that's a heck of a quarterfinal game. Does it just speak to the depth of this league? It, I mean, it does. This is this has probably been going on for quite some time now where uh, we're, we beat each other up and it's really hard uh, to get you know, a top four seed going into the to the tournament. Um, I think it it shows great coaching, great, great players, great teams, great programs. Um, and ultimately a great league to be a part of because it's so very competitive. In the front. Just coming off that, how critical is it for y'all to have that top four seed and not be not have to play until Friday, big considering the Asian situation? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, yeah, I thought we controlled our own destiny. We took care of what we needed to take care of. 
um, just not having Asia, um, it, it's a big deal. But you know, we're we're going into the tournament with with nine players, hopefully, um, and you know, the more rest that we can get, the better, because we're going into the tournament to to win it. Um, we have to play three games um, to do that. So, the more rest that we can have, the better for us. How aware were you coming into this game that you guys already had secured the number two seed and didn't that make any difference whatsoever? Um, well, we knew Georgia won, so that was, you know, that was good. We had our eye on that particular game because that was the deciding factor. Um, um, and, you know, it was good to just come in this game uh, without any pressure. But, you know, I, I, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about you know, what does this do to us as far as um, the NCAA selection committee. I hope that they don't hold, you know, our our two losses against us uh, without having uh, two of our four, two of our five losses, you know, not having Asia. Um, so I hope they take that into consideration. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.